300 people, not everybody is your target age group, whatever your target age group is, but not everybody will be in that group. So then you identify people that you're you know, physically attracted to. It is very important to be physically attracted uh, to you know, possible future partners. So you find this person, then you come to her and start talking. And then you can, you know, you find out that in five minutes, you'll find out if there's a chemistry, if there's anything in common between two of you. If you have any doubts, use your interpreter. She will help you, help you out because our interpreters are also matchmakers. So they can share valuable, you know, insight on that. So after your brief conversation, you know, when you move on to the next conversation to the next person, she can give you feedback, say, oh, you know, I don't think this arena would be a really right match for you. I don't think you just guys you just, you know, it's, it's whatever reason is, uh, you know, it's just not working for you. But how about that Olga in the red dress in the corner? I, I know her, let's go talk to her. But she, I know you a little bit, I know her. I think you two of you guys can be a good match. So my advice on this, use your interpreter, use your matchmaker. Hey, you know, she will help uh, things happen. If you're not looking forward to have more children, you really need to uh, you know, you really don't want to go for like 35 and under because those women will want to have a child. So in this case, I mean, I mean, again, I don't know what age group you're attracted to, but uh, you know, for the most success, I would say like late 30s and up, simply because of the you know children situation. Yeah, I agree. We not recommend go over 20 year old difference, just because you know it's like after that it's going to be too hard already. So, uh, but yes, if you're not planning on any kids, go 40 and up because under 40 years old, probably if she doesn't have a child, she will try to have a kid. A lot of it is psychological. You know, you need to. You know, you just you know. You don't want to jump on the first available option, so, you know, the pretty girl comes to you, smiles at you, and you know, you, you haven't been dating in a while, and you're just so happy, oh, she, she's beautiful, she's talking to me, she's the one. No, you know, just uh, slow down, slow down there, you know, again, get to know her first. So, majority of people are very nice, very friendly, have great personalities. Can you say that all 100% of people that you'll meet will be perfect? No. The same thing with guys, you know, just people are people. So many beautiful ladies, look at them, trying their best, they're wearing the beautiful clothes, they're so nice and smiley, so... Yeah, very approachable, you know, you know, those, you know, those ladies, it's, you know, here, you know, if you come to someone and start talking to a random woman on the street, you're probably gonna get some, most likely gonna get some pushback. There, you know, come talk to someone, she's gonna smile at you, be all friendly, it is so easy, it's so approachable. I just want to tell you, not all girls dancing. We, we play, you know, those slow dances once in a while. Just come on, how difficult it is just to do slow yeah. dance with a woman. You just stand there barely moving your foot. Come on, you can, anybody can do it, you know. <laughs> it's, it's not that complicated. I'm sure you've done it in high, you know, at the prom. You know, just repeat your prom yeah. experience. Tom said, get off your sofa and go. Go to see them, go to meet them, see if you have chemistry. With yeah, somebody, you know. You're not gonna achieve anything if you just sit on the couch. I mean, you know, it's yes. just, if you don't do anything, you're not, you're not gonna win if you don't play the game. Absolutely.